What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Today, we're going to open up a bunch of new Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars, including a 10 pack, a new set, and the new Lamborghini 5 pack. Let's get started. And we'll start it off with this Fast and Furious 5 pack. And although this is not new, I recently found one in store and I had to get my hands on another set to open up. Car number one of five from this set is the 2015 Mercedes AMG GT. And although they do call this the AMG GT, it's actually the GTS, as some of them do specify right on the back GTS. Let's go ahead and open this one up though. This one's in a nice gray color, and it's got blacked out wheels on it. So there's our nice gray color, those black mesh wheels on there, and it's got the black stripe right down the center of it, and then great detail on the front end and the nice big Mercedes logo right front and center. And we go around to the back. We don't have much paint or detail on this one, and this this one doesn't actually, I don't think it does specify GTS on there. It's very, very small, but no, this one I don't think does. But some of the other ones do say GTS on the back, but I really like this Mercedes. It's one of my favorite new Mercedes cars that's come out. And car number two in this set is the Nissan 370Z. This one's in yellow with black wheels. Great artwork on all of these cards, as you can see on this one. This is from Fast and Furious 6. Let's go ahead and open this car up. And this is a very, very nice, glossy yellow color. And yellow, you guys know, is my favorite color. So this one I really, really do like. Great detail on the front for those headlights. And there's that classic 370Z front end right there. And these black wheels look really, really good on it with the contrast on that yellow. Not much detail on the back of this one though. Black interior, we got the little door handles right on the side, although they look a little bit off-centered. So maybe not the greatest for detail, but still an all-around pretty nice car. And car number three of five from this set, from the Hobbs and Shaw movie, it's the McLaren 720S. A great car in that movie. Looked really, really cool. And this one's in like kind of a metallic gray color, as you can see right there. It's got like some sparkle flakes in the paint job for this. There's that black roof line on there, which is very classic of the 720S. Blacked out wheels on this one, the big multi-spoke wheels on there. Great detail on the front end. There's those nice headlights and all good, nice detail looking. As well as the back, it's not too bad we can see the two exhaust tips on the back but not much as far as paintwork goes for the rear headlights but the mclaren 720s love getting new colors of this car it's a fantastic looking hot wheels car and hopefully you guys can collect this one as well Car number four of five from this set is the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4 from the Fast and Furious 6 movie. This one's in white with silver mesh wheels on there. Let's go ahead and get a close-up look of this one. And this is a nice kind of like semi-gloss white color on there. It's almost a little bit off-white, maybe not pure, pure white. And it's got these silver mesh wheels on there, which look pretty nice. Although I probably would have liked to see a continuation of the theme of the blacked out wheels on this one. Would have been nice. And there we go. There's those headlights, the front headlight detail. We got the little bitty Lamborghini logo on the back. And there's your front end as well. Maybe not the best cut casting. You can see a little bit uh, raggedy as far as the details go on there for that uh, front casting. Uh, nice details on the back though. We got the headlights stamped on there. We got the Lamborghini logo as well as this nice little crossbar which gives good contrast on this car. Lamborghini Gallardo, pretty nice looking car for this set. And car number five of five from this set is the 1969 Ford Torino Talladega, our only muscle car in this set, as you can see right there. Let's go ahead and pop this one open. This is from Furious 7, and this is a kind of an interesting color on here. It almost looks like a different color on the, the side, and then it's got a different one on the top. It's more metallic. And you can see it kind of blends in on the hood. So it's a very interesting paint job on here. This one's got the blacked out wheels with the chrome lip on there, and you can see that kind of fast back rear end on this one and there's your front grill it's the classic muscle car grill the big chrome grill on there and then the chrome continues right on the back it's a nice one i like the blacked out wheels it's just like i said too bad that lamborghini didn't have the blacked out wheels like all the rest of the cars in this set but still nonetheless this talladega is pretty cool and next, we're opening up the brand new Lamborghini 5-pack. A very, very cool 5-pack. One of the best new 5-packs that we've seen in a while. Let's go ahead and pop it open. And our first car from this set is the Lamborghini Veneno. And this one's in a really cool looking gold color on there with blacked out wheels on there. Just check out the 
metallic in this gold. It looks very, very cool in the lights right there. We've got this black striping that kind of comes down the front end as well as that Lamborghini logo stamped right on there. Nice detail for the front headlights. We've got the roof scoop sort of thing on here, which kind of continues to the back, which is really, really cool. All blacked out in the rear end though. The Lamborghini Veneno is just one of the most exotic looking Lamborghinis ever made. And next is the Lamborghini Huracan LP620-2 Super Trofeo. This one's in a blue color with colored wheels on there. Very, very nice contrast to it. You can see even the contrast of the wheels and then that roof scoop just right on the top. Just such a, a crazy looking front end on there. Very Lamborghini. And we've got the stamped headlights, the little scoops that kind of intake air on the front. Big rear spoiler on this one as well. Not much detail on the rear end as far as headlight stamping or anything goes. We got good detail for the diffuser on there. I really like the color of this one. I think it's a great new addition to the Super Trofeo line that they have already. And next is the comeback of the Lamborghini Murcielago SV. We have not seen this casting for a long time. And if you guys watch my videos, you'll know that the yellow Lamborghini Murcielago SV is my favorite ever Hot Wheels casting and color variation. And we've finally got a follow up in this cool looking, it's kind of like a grayish color to it. We've got black base on there. There's that SV logo stamped on the side of it, blacked out wheels with the colored lip on there. And then on the front end, we've got this cool striping to contrast and check out the detail on the headlights on there. This pack is just totally worth it for this Murcielago SV. I'm so glad to see it back in the Hot Wheels line and hopefully we'll get some new color variations of it again in the future. And our next car is the Lamborghini Aventador J. We've got another recolor of this one. This time it's in a matte white finish on it. And you can see the difference on the Aventador J. It's got this open cockpit with two seats right there that's kind of split down the center. Nice blacked out striping on the front. Good detail for the headlights as well. And this just from the side, it's just a really, really cool looking Lamborghini. And I think these wheels that they put onto it, they actually suit this car very, very well. Kind of an exotic looking wheel for the very exoticness of this Aventador J. And there's the rear end right there. It's pretty standard for the rear end, but just an all around fantastic looking car. And it's nice to get this in a new matte white color. And our final car of this Lambo 5 pack is the Lamborghini Gallardo LP570-4 Super Legera. And this one's in this orange color with chrome wheels. And you can see on the side of it, it's got the stamping of Super Legera. And on the front end, it's got a really cool diffuser type of thing with the headlights on there. It's got that rear spoiler on there, which looks really, really neat. The only disappointing thing is if we look on the side, you can see the casting cut right here. It's not very smooth. It hasn't been done done very well. If we look on this side as well, it's the same type of thing. So it's maybe like a just the, the wrong casting that they've done for this one. I don't know. I feel like they could fix this one a little bit in the future as the previous variations have been a little bit smoother on the side windows. But nonetheless, if you look at it from far, you don't really notice and it's still a sweet looking Lamborghini. And next up, we have a new Hot Wheels 10 pack. Let's go ahead and open this. And first up is the Ford Thunderbolt. This one's in kind of like a brownish maroonish color. It's got a chrome grill on the front end of it, blacked out wheels, nice graphics all around the side. We got the chrome on the back as well as those two lights right there. It's a really, really cool muscle car. Paradox is our next one. This is an interesting fantasy car. Look at how big the rear wheels are on it compared to the front wheels. Got some nice design on there. Cool, cool looking color as well. Uh, I'm not too sure about this car. It's probably not one of my favorite fantasy cars, but it's interesting nonetheless. Then we've got the 55 Chevy. This one's in a nice looking white color with chrome wheels on there. It's got some interesting graphics on the side, nothing too crazy, but it's got a nice little touch to it as well. And then check out the interior color. It's like a light bluish color interior, which looks really neat. Nice contrast for it. Not much detail as far as the front headlights go. And the grill itself is a plastic grill, which is a little bit different from what we normally see. It's all plastic base as well. Nothing metal on the base, but it's an interesting designed car. And if you're a collector of the 55 Chevys, there's lots of different color variations of them. 
And next is the Kia Stinger GT. And this one's in a glossy gray color, very new color for this car. And I actually bought this tan back just specifically for this car, just because I like the new color variation of it. And also I do want to put this down our racetrack because we know that Kia Stinger in blue is currently our champion. So I'm wondering if this gray color might actually be faster. We'll have to put it down the track in a future video and race it to find out. But the Kia Stinger GT, it's a really, really cool looking car and I'm liking this new color. And next is the Mustang Mach 1, and we've seen many, many different color variations of this casting, but now we've got this new one. We've got gray wheels on it. We've got the Hot Wheels logo right there on the back. The kind of Mach 1 type stripe that continues along the side, as well as the little Mustang right down there. And this one has those rear window slats, which is a cliche thing of this car back in the 70s and the 60s. But it's a very, very nice one. If you're a Mustang fan, definitely collect this one, and you can get all the different color variations of it. And next up we've got Bad to the Blade and this one's an orange colored variation and I really like these wheels and it's nice to see it on different fantasy cars now as well. And this is kind of like an airplane that's kind of set backwards. It's kind of different, it's an interesting casting, almost looks like an F1 car but not quite. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of this casting, I think it's kind of ugly at the front in my opinion with the wings and stuff there. But nonetheless if you're a fantasy collector it's definitely one to get. And next up is the Mod Rod, and this is a new color variation for it. It's kind of a matte finish black, but it's got like a semi-gloss coat on top of it. So it's not like super, super matte finish. I do like it. I would probably call it a satin finish. This has been a very popular new casting that came out recently, and I like all the different color variations for it. I'm looking forward to seeing more of them. I think we only have maybe two or three different color variations of it, but it's just a really, really neat casting. And we've got Roadster as our next casting, this fantasy casting with the 04 graphics on the front of it with the Hot Wheels logo down there. It's an open top Roadster, of course, the big 04 on the side of it. It's got a gray base on there, and we've got the blacked out wheels with the color lip on there. We've seen lots of different color variations of Roadster. I really like it. It's a really cool fantasy casting. And we can never have enough of the Bone Shaker. It's another one color variation of the Bone Shaker. This one's a very glossy black. You can see the skull flame on the side of it with the big exhaust right there. We got the colored wheels on this one as well. And then there's the classic skull at the front for the Bone Shaker. I love all the different color variations of Bone Shaker. It seems like we get a new color variation of it every month, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. I love the Bone Shaker. And our final car from this Hot Wheels 10 pack is Bedlam. And you can see Bedlam in green right here and very interesting wheel tire combination. Check it out, it's like an X-ray racer. So it's got this see-through tires on this one. It's kind of like a new age El Camino, except we do see that the engine is in the back. So we've got the engine right here, plus we've got this bed right here to store stuff. It's kind of a neat, interesting design. It would almost be a cool car that they would make in real life, like when they make uh, Hot Wheels into real cars. I think Bedlam would be a good candidate for it. It'd be a very, very cool looking car to see with that engine in the back. And next to open up, we've got this Matchbox Mustang set. Let's go ahead and get it started. And the first one we'll open up is the 2016 Ford Mustang Convertible. This one's in a nice looking maroon color. Let's go ahead and open this one up and get a close up look at it. It's got a tan interior on there as well. And there it is, these wheels actually do look kind of good on this Mustang. Nice detail on the back and you can see the GT that shows right there as well. So that's a good touch to it and as well as very nice details for the front lights. The stamping on them are actually really, really good. I mean, it is a Matchbox car, so it's more of a plastic body to it as opposed to metal on Hot Wheels, but nonetheless, the details on it are fantastic. The next Mustang is the 1992 Ford Mustang LX SSP. I'm not sure exactly what the SSP stands for, but it, it looks like a highway patrol car. Oh no, it does say Department of Public Safety. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. I'm not really sure, but then it also says State Trooper on there. Let's get a close up look at this one and see if we can get more details on this car right here. So there we go, on the side, it says Texas Department of Public Safety, and then it says 5.0, so it is a five liter Mustang on there. And then it does say State Trooper on there. We've got the light bars on the top of it. It's got a light gray interior on there, and the interior is actually, interestingly enough, it's actually got some good detail to it. 
Very, very nice. I like it. I like it. Five liter Mustang. And these, these are kind of the classic like early 90s wheel tire combination that they had on police cars. Not much as far as detail goes on the back. On the front end though, it got nice headlights it's not too bad you can see it's it's kind of got like a not the greatest as far as paint detail in there you can see kind of the cut lines right there are not very smooth on the actual hood on the top right here it's not too bad a little bit of a mist paint right there as well but nonetheless five liter mustang state patrol the next one is very interesting. It's the 1968 Ford Mustang, and it looks like a raised up monster truck. Let's go ahead and get a close up look at this one. Oh, as I drop it, of course, it wouldn't be a peak time racing video if I didn't drop a car. So we got the Mustang that's been dropped. And this has got a very, very matte finish paint job on there. It's kind of like a grayish green almost. I'm not sure exactly what to call this color, but on the top right there, you can see it's got the skull logo on there, and then it's got all this imitation mud for it to go through all the mud and just check out that raised suspension on there wow these big mudder tires on there look actually really really cool not much as far as detail goes on the back you can see just the cut for the headlights but there's no paint or tampa work or anything like that same with the front end as well but i i like this i like the, the mud look to it it's really really cool and these raised up cars we've seen matchbox do quite a few of them they're very very interesting our next Mustang is the 2019 Ford Mustang Coupe. And I think this is a GT. We'll have to see what it says on the back of it though. Let's go ahead and pop it open. And this one's in a green color with gold wheels on there. And that looks quite interesting. I actually like these wheels on there. They look really good. And there we go. When we look on the back, it is a GT. And you can see the little Mustang logo just down there as well. And it's very, very nice. I like the new Mustangs. I'm a really big fan of them. I like the front end look of them, the side look of them. The, it's just a really cool looking, very, very nicely designed car. I like all the updates of it from all the way from like, I think it was around 2004, 2005 when they came out with like the new design Mustang and then they redesigned it and they very modernized it around 2015. I think it looks fantastic. I really like these new Mustangs. From 2019 Mustang all the way back to the 1965 Ford Mustang GT, the Fastback. Let's go ahead and pop this one open right here. And this one's in kind of like a off white color, but it's got the gold stripes, very satin glossy gold stripes on there. I think it looks really, really good. And then these wheels are just perfect for it. They've got like kind of the gold inner liner trim on there. It's got a tan interior. And there's that really, really cool looking Fastback look to this car not much as far as detail goes for the front end just the striping that goes all the way down the center but I think it's a fantastic looking car and actually let's do a little bit of a comparison 1965 to 2019 Ford Mustang GTs and there's kind of your a look of several several years and your improvements and differences but nonetheless i think they're both really cool designs they're both good looking cars the ford mustang and our last mustang to open up today is going to be the 1968 ford mustang gt cs and cs stands for carol shelby so it's a shelby mustang and this one's not the fastback it's just the standard coupe variation let's open it up and get a close up look at this one and see what this one's all about and the first thing that you do kind of notice is a lot of chrome so you see that big chrome interior on there very very shiny chrome interior on there the chrome on the front end it's a nice looking kind of tealish blue color it's got the stripe down the center and then we do see the the GT kind of uh, CS logo right there and then on the back we do see the uh, Carol Shelby signature on there, which is an interesting touch to this one. And the period correct wheels on there. So all the chrome and blue, the chrome on the back as well. It's a really, really nice looking Mustang overall. And our final car to open up today is the Lamborghini Aventador Coupe. And this one is from the Dark Knight Rises movie. It's the Lamborghini Aventador from that movie. It is a real riders car. So we're gonna go ahead and get a close up look. And I believe this is, I think it's only my first ever real riders Lamborghini Aventador. Actually, I'm not sure if Hot Wheels makes any other real rider Lamborghini Aventadors besides this one. I could be wrong. I'll have to double check in my collection, but there we go. There's 
the real riders on their Lamborghini Aventador Coupe. You can see it says on the bottom. It's a nice looking silver color, sparkly, and then it's got no stripes or anything. It's a very, very clean look to it. The Lamborghini logo on the front, nice detail for those front headlights on there as well. And there we go, we got the detail on the back. We've got the headlight or the, the rear lights kind of painted in there. And then we've got the Lamborghini logo all up in there as well. I love the real rider cars because it's a full metal base, full metal body, so it's got more weight to it, which it kind of feels a lot better quality. But the Lamborghini Aventador, one of the coolest Hot Wheels cars they've ever come out with. I love collecting all the color different variations of it. I think the only one I'm missing is the RLC Gumball 3001, which is quite expensive to get, but I'll try and get my hands on that one so I can kind of co complete my collection of Lamborghini Aventadors. With so many new Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars that we opened up today, let me know in the comments section down below which one was your favorite. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.